hit me with the rain stick, Cheryl. Oh, not this again. I really don't understand how hitting you with a rain stick is helpful. Turn that upside down. Hear those soothing sounds? That is from Australia. And you blew into it. Isn't that called a didgeridoo? Whatever! Hit me with a stick! I'm a pinata! I'm not a pinata! You hear me? Why are you obsessed with pinatas? Because that's life, Cheryl. You either is one or you isn't one. And sometimes you both is. And you isn't. And you learn nothing? If you would focus on your damn chakra for half a second, all would become clear to you. You can hang yourself in the public square and let people hit you with sticks till candy and coins drop out your ass. Or you can sit on the mountaintop and hum. It's simple. I like both. So we got all these lines lit up. Let's go to line four. This guy is really spiritually constipated. He's got an ass full of candy. Let's hit him with one of the big sticks of love. My friend, what's up? Free yourself. Breathe deep. Yeah, that's bullshit what you said about coconut water. Don't you go disrespecting coconut water. That's the nectar of the gods. From places that are mad spiritual. With cave paintings and bacon sun and drum circles and heat stroke and where you can swim with dolphins. Dolphins! <laughs> and communicate with them. Swim with them and communicate with the dolphins. Dolphins are delivering babies, you punk ass. I heard the dolphins molest people. Where you hear that, woman? TV? That damn anti-spiritual booty box will suck the life out of you in a minute. Make your whole innards glaze over like someone threw your soul into an oven all covered in egg white. Like this coconut water fool right here. <laughs> Listen, my friend. I just drink some, and I'm a significantly more hydrated than you. I'm hydrated. I'm a whole lot wetter than you. People in tropical locations are never thirsty. They discovered the miracle of coconut.